Hello, welcome to City Bus Guide Education. Last week we headed to AIS for a wonderful IB art exhibition, Hearts and Mind. It was rock and roll, so let's check it out. So this is like a curated exhibition that was worked on for over like about two years uh, wow. during my IB study. Okay. Uh, so my work uh, is inspired by modernization and industrialization, mm -hmm. and it starts off as like uh, and like just a pure interest in crowded places and structures, just the formal qualities of it. And then I started to investigate more towards like the issue and the global global significance behind each of uh, like these structures. And so, as you can see, my exhibition is divided into three parts. The first part talks about the global significance and then um, we move on to the cultural and then the personal significance. Um, this work is called Suffocation and it talks about the feeling of an overpopulated society and you feel like um, you're always squished and you, the figures in this one is like, uh, plastic-like and dehumanized and they all they look kind of the same like doll like and so uh, I wanted to express the message that um, in the society everyone is kind of removed of their individuality so and after IB I'm planning to um, do visual effects in university and I hope to work for like in big projects and in for big companies like Marvel and A lot of help me to um, find my exact dream yeah. and increase my skills because AIC has a lot of um, mentors and nice teachers to help me. Actually, I want to do a major in fashion design and in the US and I want to be a fashion marketer or designer in my future. So you think that this art form exemplifies the movement and yes. the people? Yeah. So I am leaving them by the putting light on. It's an incredibly deep piece of work. Not only its concept, but its construction. There's a multiplicity of layers of waxed paper and burning and sewing and painting and all built into this light box. It's necessary to illuminate. The central idea of my exhibition is the connection between the traditional and contemporary values uh, as the Vietnamese society progresses. Um, I divided my exhibition into two sections. Um, the first part talks about the traditional um, Vietnamese societies and the problems that arises within, for example, gender norms or social you know, stigmas and other stuff like that. And um, it transitions into a discussion. Yeah, sure. Please <laughs> follow me. Um, so it transitions into a more modern discussion of the Vietnamese society and how women are viewed and um, yeah, the issues that women have to face in the modern society. Um, and then to conclude the exhibition on a more positive note, I um, have my artworks expressing, celebrating femininity and um, expressing hope for a safer or a better place for women. A lot of our students get direct entry, so the quality of the work that they produce um, means that they don't have to do a foundation yet. The, the university is just straight on the course. Um, this year we have two accepted into Parsons, New York, and two accepted into SCAD. So, uh, with serious scholarships as well. Um, so I've been in art education for quite a long while, shall we say. <laughs> Knocking on 40 years now. Um, so when I look at work, I kind of know when it's good. And I would say AIS is among the very best in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So the conflict of interest between um, the expectations of the traditional Vietnamese society and where they're going to in this international world create issues and problems at times for them. 
um, at this age, of course, you know, 16, 17, 18, it's the time when these problems surface and boil over. And, and, and they have the freedom of expression here that they perhaps don't have in their hometown, so to speak. Um.